a month ago I had an idea of making an Arduino based light meter and these are two older light meters so these basically have selenium cells in them and they react to light and they bounce this area and then you look at your settings and that's how you're going to get your readings for your camera. I use a newer one, the Sekonic L358, and I kind of want to make something similar to this using Arduino, so something totally open source. And it's pretty ugly, but it works. And so this is what it looks like in action. You're going to see when I push on this keypad right here, it's going to increment the ISO and it's going to increment the f-stop. When I hit EV, it's going to take a reading, but since it's backwards, it's not going to take it. And it's backwards because the meter, the sensor is actually on the back of this unit. So that's something other people can fix and um, improve upon, but this is how I just got it to work. So what parts are you going to need to build this? You're going to need an Arduino Uno, which is the base of it. This is a um, Adafruit proto board for the Arduino. And I use a lot of Adafruit products because they're just so well documented. A 16 by 2 character LCD. On the back, there's an Adafruit. I had square C and SPI um, backpack. I'm using SPI because the it's um, the back the LCD is five volts and the sensor is 3.3 volts, so you have to get around that. And this is a sensor right here, the TSL2561, again from Adafruit, and because Adafruit has such great documentation, really easy to build. And I'll show some of my code, um, some of the resources I use to take code from and things like that. Also, this keypad, pretty cool. I got a box of like 40 of these keypads for four dollars at a thrift store. And they've been coming in really handy. They're kind of great for projects like this, and they fit the 16x2 LCDs perfectly. So I'm not going to make a video of my code, but I'll talk about how it's set up and how it's built. So it's based around this debouncer code from this other guy, and I'll link to all this stuff. And um, then I get sensor and LCD code from Adafruit. And then I kind of just put it all together. My brother helped me build this loop that increments the ISO and f-stops. And that basically increments an array of the ISO and f-stops, and it's pretty complicated. It's not um, finished totally yet, but you can look at it, and it works if you just um, with some buttons. But it's kind of it's a little clunky for right now. But it works for me, and I'm probably gonna um, maybe leave it at that. And if someone wants to improve upon it, it's great. And I think that's what this whole community is about and what it's for. So, so a lot of cool starting point, um, a lot of, a really cool project for me. My most complicated project easily, and I think it's gonna be great for other people to improve upon and to work on too. So. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more camera-based Arduino projects. Thank you.